Okay, well, we've used the, the standard carpenter's wood turner's tool rest to cut the outside diameter, bore an inside diameter, and another little feature given for free on, on this um, machine, because it's geared with this 22 to 1 worm wheel in here, is that by turning a specific number of turns on the high speed end, we can get a fraction of that turned absolutely uniformly at the output. And I've taken the standard um, tool rest off and put a grooved bar which is giving me a guide for this tubular gouge. It's only a piece of mild steel tube that I've sharpened up by grinding the inside, put that in a power drill and it leaves a razor edge not any good for, for anything other than wax, but cuts wax very, very easily. So I'm going to chisel, gouge, to make a flute. These are quite deep. You don't have to go in as deep as this. You can see there's quite a nice finish. And while I've gone down as deep as I've set the, the guide, there's a hexagonal collar I, I, I put on here, so we can go from the one that's marked black. If we go one whole turn on there. This has now moved one twenty-second of a turn. So if we do two turns, we've got an eleventh of a turn. So we'll have an eleven grooved flute on here, which is quite coarse. But I'm suggesting that this might be a guide for perhaps putting say stones into the rings that will be made by parting sections of this fluted length off or putting letters on or, or just leaving it as, as a fluted design. Now, the, these are made the same way that not wonderfully artistic but quite easy if you're struggling on freehand art. Make some a final cut is a burnishing cut by, by dragging the, the, the cutting edge back along and you'll see it leaves a very nice finish. And the important thing is of course that the angular spacing is exactly right. So easy, it feels like cheating. <laughs>